the bone is gonna eat my entire ass if you idiots don't find a way to make her stop talking smack about Power Rangers! Do not worry, my queen. I have a plan that is sure to have her changing her tools. Behold, my latest invention. I don't know how your search history is supposed to stop Toku's sister, but Savan is gonna love it! <laughs> well, golly gee, Bumblebee, I sure do like eating fiber in the morning and paying my taxes. Greetings, I am Boobvira, a legally and creatively distinct entity from Elvira, Hellvira, and Tube Top Toku Sister. I want to talk about spooky stuff. It's like basically October now. I'm allowed. Yep, I've been wanting to look at monsters for a while. I think Toku's got some of the greatest and bestest and most horrifying if you stop and think about them for a second monster designs you're ever going to see. And it's now the spooky season so I'm legally required and also definitely allowed to talk about spooky stuff. We're going to look at spooky tokus. I want to kick off spooky season real strong like with a quick look at a few of the times that tokus based their monster designs around that foundational monster text of the science fiction genre, Frankenstein. It's a classic monster. You can't really go wrong with it and it's it's kind of weird. I think Japan really likes Frankenstein's monster. You know, going all the way back to uh, King Kong vs. Godzilla which started out as King Kong vs. Frankenstein. I guess they thought that it would make more sense if he fought Godzilla than Frankenstein's monster, I guess. And then you have Frankenstein Conquers the World, where I think he's the good guy? Looks like he started a forest fire. Not getting that one fully. So you see, my queen, she will be so busy talking about monster designs, she won't have any time to talk smack about Power Rangers. Well, I don't see any way this could possibly backfire. In all of Toku history, there is no more feared name than that of the cruel and heartless butcher concerned only with short-term profit and having absolutely no regard for the artistic integrity of that which he chopped up into crappy little pieces and repackaged into garbage that he just... I'm talking about Heim Saban. I'm gonna talk about Beetleborgs. Yeah, for some reason, Heim Saban thought it would be a good idea to take two or more of the greatest Metal Heroes series ever and cut them up and make them into big bad beetleborgs. If that wasn't the scariest thing on earth, I don't know what is. Look, look at what they just, they took. Did you see their glorious figures? Their mysterious bodies. Be 
So they took that, and they made... You, Haim Saban. I don't know why old Jaime thought that kids really like universal monster movies and that having their base be full of goofy, one dimensional, old timey classic monsters, or that having their base be like an abandoned house full of drifters that they have to clear the out of every time they want to film at. I don't know why he thought any of this was a good idea. But luckily, out of the whole deal, we got Frankenbeans. Oh, what a cut up. Oh, Frankie. What a, what a goofus maloofus that boy is. Okay, I want the big guy. Yeah, take that, you damn Frankenbeans. <laughs> out of all the monsters in Big Bad Beetleborgs, I think Frankie seems to get the most love. I think people just like the name Frankenbeans. You know, it's like Frank and Beans. I've never had that. Is that like some kind of awful hot dog thing? Why are they hurting them? I thought the monsters were their friends. His creator apparently shows up sometimes and like, uh, I don't know, gave him a smart brain or something. I think I do like it when he shows up and says, Beetleborgs. I mean, who else is gonna say that? I don't. I don't know if he's as annoying as some of the stuff in Beetleborgs. Like honestly, the monsters are probably the least annoying part of Beetleborgs. Just like in the comic books, you know it's better. Way better. Okay, I, I take it back. I think actually the monsters are an, an annoying part of it. I I think Flabber is just the best sword on. I don't know why. They thought that kids in the 90s would be interested in Liberace Elvis ghost, but sure, I like Flabber. I'd hang out with Flabber. I'd happily be one of Flabber's ladies in the pipe organ who sing about Flabber. Uh, yeah, Frankenbeans. That's what I'm actually talking about, and not just using this as an excuse to talk about the monsters in Big Bad Beetleborgs. I don't understand why he's in that haunted house, or why there's a mummy in that haunted house, or a vampire. I mean, the werewolf and the vampire are like roommates, apparently, from like the old country. Honestly, that whole vampire just seems like what we do in the shadows. Like, I know this series came before what we do in the shadows, but like, he, he's a vampire and he has like a boss from the old vampire country and if he doesn't kill enough people and turn them into vampires, then the boss will come and like, fire him from being a vampire? Uh, I don't know, that just, that seems an awful lot like what we do in the shadows. And, and on top of that, he also has an ex-wife he's like really afraid of, which is also in what we do in the shadows. So, but but the thing is, this this show came like 15 years before what we do in the shadows. So, did what we do in the shadows rip off Beetleborgs? <laughs> His underwear is out. They're children. Right, right. Frankenbeans. Frankenbeans. It's, he's, he's, a, he's a solid Frankenstein's monster. Four out of ten. I still don't understand why they're beating up their friends. Fucking Beetleborgs. Alright, let's talk about a different one. I'm gonna pivot to something more weirder. I wanna I wanna look at uh something that guarantee ain't nobody else watching. Let's let's dig real deep here. You wanna get into the, the weird stuff? Oh man, okay. You know I like dinosaurs, I assume. You know I like old garbage. Well, 
have I got a series for me. Kyoryu Sentai Kosaidon is a Kyoryu Sentai that predates Kyoryu Sentai Z Ranger by like 10 years. It's about goofy astronauts that travel back in time, and sometimes there's dinosaurs. They they sure do say there's a lot of that, that there's dinosaurs in it, but there there aren't a whole lot a lot of the time, and uh, it's bad, but also great. <laughs> And one time they fight a Frankenstein's monster. <laughs> Dr. Frankenstein Dracula wants to get revenge on the 21st Century Science Academy for not believing in his Frankenstein's monster research. So he makes a dinosaur Frankenstein's monster. It's upsetting. There's actually like a couple Frankenstein's monsters in this one. I'm not really clear because it opens with a Frankenstein's monster and then there's a different -er Frankenstein's monster. <gasps> Look out, there's a Frankenstein! I mean, that's pretty horrifying to be honest. He's got the goofy boo boo boos on him, but the way he's just like choking that dude and he, the way he comes up behind him is definitely like kind of chilling to be honest. He sure is pleased about choking that guy. Like it's this weird combination of goofy and and scarifying. Kosadon seems to have that going on where it's like lots of goofy jank but then upsetting violence and spookitude. <gasps> oh no he's being abandoned! Oh, he's leaving him behind! Hey! That's such a good mom. <laughs> hey! Oh, damn, that's cold! But that's not the only Franken, that's just Franken number one. Later they go back in time and make a, an awful discovery. Oh, I love this rail thing. There's this like rocket ship on rails. Denno just ripped that off, didn't he? <gasps> What's happening to all the dinosaurs? Somebody got a bunch of dinosaur model skeletons and littered them. <gasps> Oh, someone's hunting them for Chinese medicine. So you see that and you think, oh, cool. He's going to make a Frankenstein's dinosaur. Isn't that an amazing idea? You can take all these dino parts and, and horrifically assemble them into a new super dinosaur. Frankenstein's dinosaur. That sounds like it could be pretty cool. I'm all on board for this. This episode of Kosedon might actually have some freaking dino action in it. But remember that first Franken that we saw at the beginning that was different from Franken number one? Oh, look, he's got dino parts on him. Oh, see, that's just that's gonna be all the dinosaur that it is, eh? Oh. Whoa! Just, okay. Welcome to the world. Here's a bazooka shot. So. That's the Franken number two? I mean, it's also kind of number one because we saw it at the beginning of the episode, but the other one's number one. So, but he just calls it Franken because we just forget about the other Franken. It's like they made the other Franken and then they're like, no, that's not good enough. We need to make it better. So they had to make this one. You're hoping for a Frankenstein's dinosaur and he's kind of a Frankenstein's dinosaur. He's got horns and spikes and stuff. But it's just not really the same. He's still like a goofy guy in a, in, a, in a Frankenstein costume. And they just end up absolutely brutalizing this poor guy. It's poor Franken. They bust out like full pro wrestling on the guy.
Whoa, he disappeared right before the explosion. And then poor old Dr. Frankenstein, vampire Dracula, does the wildest dance when they beat his monster creation. Oh, so Franken 1 and 2 and Kosedon. I like, honestly, like, I'm disappointed that it's not like a full Frankenstein's dinosaur, but he's a sufficiently good threat, that Franken number 2. And Franken number 1 is kind of basic, but still kind of scary. I think it kind of lives up to this uh, ferocious, terrifying, overwhelming Superman kind of feel I think Frankenstein's monster was supposed to give us. You know, it's a tragic tale of lost, you know, humanity or whatever. But he's also, like, kind of scary and he kills people. And that's what I like about this one. Uh, I'm gonna give Franken number one the... He's got the goofy do doodlies and he chokes a dude. He's getting seven out of ten? What, ten, what are the units I'm using? And Franken number two is getting, see, he's got the missed potential, but he's also kind of goofy and scaly and has spikes. He is getting also a different seven out of ten. Kind of cool, but also he, he ticked me off because I wanted Frankenstein's dinosaur. And I didn't get what I want, and so now you're getting punished. You're bad, Frankenstein. Last up in our Frankenstein sampler, uh, I want to look at that time the Power Rangers got absolutely bodied by Frankenstein's monster. He's fighting them both at the same time. Th this one happened in both Kyori Sentai Z Ranger and also in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I'm gonna look at the Power Ranger one because that episode is Halloween themed. Even Bulk and Skull get into the spirit. I'll be young Elvis and you be old Elvis. Uh huh. But when Rita's monster crashes the party, the Power Rangers must swing into action. We just had an earthquake. No, it's Rita and that Frankenstein is one of her goons. Yeah, that had to be handy to have a costume that you could easily use in the American scenes alongside the Japanese footage. It's easy to remake a Frankenstein's monster costume. You can put that in to your your show and then have it interact with your actors without having to make a big elaborate toku monster costume. Oh, wow. They kind of did a good job of recreating the costume. Not really. In this episode, he just absolutely wrecks the Power Rangers, though. It's, it's like kind of no contest. It, it's a little upsetting. There's something upsetting about these Frankenstein's monsters. <laughs> so first he beats the crap out of Billy, and then he proceeds to beat the crap out of the whole team. goofy stiff movements. understand if you're winning why would you make him grow wouldn't you make him grow as a last resort gotta watch the toys assemble i always wish they'd just keep that rex head oh now he's got like a big ball i guess that grew with him oh right in the nuts
Oh no! And as if it weren't enough to beat up individual ranger, then all the rangers, then the rangers in Megazord, he also bodies the dragon sword. Oh, he's bolting it up again. Didn't he already have the bolts out? What was the big ball and chain he had before? Damn! Busting the Kung Fu out! Whoa, reversing his energy blast? There's something so brutal about- Whoa! There's something so brutal about putting a slow hole in someone. Oh boy! Hot damn in a frying pan. That's what I call a Frankenstein man. He just wrecks those rangers. He's doing the martial arts, busting them out. He's got the, the nunchucks and also a ball and chain. They had to go all the way to full Dragon Megazord and sell all their toys in one episode to beat that Frankenstein. I'm gonna have to put the Zoo Ranger slash Power Rangers Frankenstein way up there. He's getting a 9 out of 10. I mean, there's always room for improvement. We don't want to give someone too high of marks. But, you know, that was a good one. He's fighting, he's winning, he's genuinely threatening. He wasn't a disappointment because I was expecting Frankenstein's dinosaur. He was good. I, I liked that one. That's got to be the best of the Frankensteins that we've looked at. You know, I think Japan seems to have a fascination with this man-made monster. I mean, clearly, through all throughout Toku, it's kind of a common theme, the mad scientist making a monster. It makes sense to me that they'd go back to the originator of that and pay homage to it. And also, Haim Saban. What an homage. That sure was a wacky fun time, looking at all kinds of spooky monsters. I think I learned something. Don't know what it is. Couldn't tell you. It got me thinking. Got me thinking about what is a monster? Where do our ideas about monsters come from? And why we shouldn't let Haim Saban anywhere near any of them. What do you think? What's your favorite Frankenstein's monster? from Toku's. Are there any other amazing monster designs you want me to look at? Are there any other spooky Tokus you think I should look at? Type up a comment and let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification button and uh, you know, tell me that I'm good. So until next time, you, Haim Saban. So, what do you think? Ah!